Welcome students. Today's class we are going to see about 9th standard science biology practicals that is identification of adaptation in plants. Before moving to the practicals, you should know the basic adaptation why plants undergo adaptation. The scientist, a well known ecologist, Warming, 1895, he classified the plants based on the water availability. So, based on the habitat, how much water is available so that a point he taken as account he classify the plants into three major categories that is hydrophytes mesophytes and xerophytes hydrophytes plants are living in water they are called as aquatic plants next is uh, mesophytes the plants which are in normal condition what we are seeing here are called mesophytic plants xerophytic plants are extreme condition plants which having uh, very less water or lack of water just like in deserts so these are the major categories based on these categories the plants undergo some adaptations the last one is insectivorous plant the plant which is growing in a soil where there is a lack of nitrogen or very poor nitrogen in the soil so that for the protein purposes it undergo and it take the nutrition from the insects so they are called insectivorous plants. First plant what we are going to see is mesophytic plant, a common plant either tomato or brinjal. This will keep it as a specimen so you can identify uh, the plant is identified as mesophytic plant, tomato or brinjal. Then you have to write the points. Just write the five or six points is enough. They are common land plants which grow in normal conditions whether neither too dry or nor too wet. The plants do not having special adaptation because they are in normal condition. Roots are well developed with root caps. Stems are straight and branched. Leaves are broad and thin. The stomata are present in the leaves are closed in the extreme condition of wind and heat to avoid the transpiration. So these are the main points you have to write for this mesophytic plants. So you just draw the diagram and uh, write there is a meso the plant is identified as a mesophytic plant, tomato or brinjal. Then you have to write the observation points. Next we are going to see about the hydrophytic plant. The next plant is aquatic plants. Example Icarnia. The plants which are growing nearby water or in the water are called aquatic plants. Root system either absent or poorly developed because they are in water, so they need not to absorb water from the soil or like that. So the root system is poorly developed or merely absent. The plants developed special adaptation to overcome the challenges availability of excess of water, so to maintain the buoyancy, to prevent damage of water current, so that it having some adaptation. In Icarnia, the petiole is modified into a swollen and spongy structure by the presence of air chambers. This provides a mechanical support and buoyancy to the plants to make it float above this water. So these are the uh, main points of Icarnia. So you have to write the plant is identified as a hydrophytic plant, Icarnia. Then you write this following five points. Next we are going to see about xerophytic plants. The next plants what we are going to see is a xerophytic plant, example Opuntia. The plants that are growing dry habitat are called xerophytic plants. These plants develop specialized structures to overcome the dot. The roots are well developed to penetrate the deeper layer of the soil. In Opuntia, the stems are modified into leaf-like structure called cladro. It is very succulent. It stores the water in the parenchyma cells. The leaves are greatly reduced to, in the form of spines to reduce the transpiration. The outermost surface of the plant totally covered by waxy cuticle. It also helps in the reducing of transpiration. So you can see in open shear, the leaf-like structures are actually stem. They are modified into leaf-like structures. The what we are seeing in the form of thorns are actually modified or reduced to form of leaves. The outermost layer almost covered by waxy cuticles to avoid transpiration. It having well developed root to getting this water from the soil. So you have to write uh, this plant is identified as a xerophytic plant, example open here. Then you have to write these following points. 
Next we are going to see about insectivorous plant Nepenthes. The next what we are going to see is insectivorous plants example Nepenthes. These plants get the nutrition from the insects which they lack in the soil. Usually these type of uh, plants live in a soil where the soil contain very less amount of nitrogen. So they are getting uh, nutrition or nitrogen from the insects. This Nepenthes, the whole leaf is modified into picture, the flask like structures. So the lamella is converted into flask like structure. It is very attractive, so the plant, the insects can be trapped uh, by this attractive nature of picture. This insects getting inside the flask. When it is getting inside the flask, it cannot come out of the uh, picture nature because it is closed by the lid. It having a digestive enzymes. This digestive enzymes will digest the uh, entire uh, insect. Then it will get the nutrition from the insect. So insectivorous plants means this is the uh, nepenthes which is growing in the soil where nitrogen is very less. So production of uh, proteins it need nitrogen so that it getting a nutrition from the insects. Here you have tried the identification. Uh, the plant is identified as insectivorous plant, example Nepenthes. Then you draw the diagram writing the uh, remaining points. Uh, that's all students. With this you can easily get the full mark from this uh, practical. Uh, first one we... The first one is Hydrophytic plants, Icarnia. Mesophytic plant, Tomato or Brinjal. Third one is Geophytic plant, it is Opuntia. The fourth and last one is insectivorous plants, Nepenthes. You just uh, write the identification, uh, then uh, draw the diagram and observations. Easily you can get the good marks. Thank you.